A time of Lexio Divina for the discerning heart. Tuesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time, All Saints' Day. As you begin, take a deep breath and exhale slowly. For the next few moments, surrender all the cares and concerns of this day to the Lord. Say slowly from your heart, Jesus, I trust in you. You take over. Become aware that he is with you, looking upon you with love wanting to be heard deep within your heart. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right. They shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful. They shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad. For your reward will be great in heaven. What word made this passage come alive for you? What did you sense the Lord saying to you? Once more, give the Lord an opportunity to speak to you. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right. They shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful. They shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart. They shall see God. Happy the peacemakers. They shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of culminy against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. What did your heart feel as you listened?
What did you sense the Lord saying to you? Once more, through him, with him, and in him, listen to the word. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right. They shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. What touched your heart in this time of prayer? What did your heart feel as you prayed? What do you hope to carry with you from this time with the Lord? Let us now close with the prayer to the Father that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.